Welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, in addressable fire alarms, various modules are used such as isolator module, monitor module, control module, zone monitor module. In today's video, we will learn about the zone monitor, its working applications and see an example along with the wiring diagram connection. So in this video, we will understand what a zone monitor module is, how it works, its functions, in which applications it is used, how its wiring connection is done and how it operates. We will see that today. Let's start the video. Friends, conventional detectors cannot be directly connected with an addressable fire alarm loop because their working principles are different. Conventional detectors are wired zone wise and addressable fire alarms are wired loop wise. If a conventional detector needs to be connected to an addressable fire alarm loop, then a zone monitor module is used. Friends, the zone monitor module monitors the two wire conventional detector, SP, which is the conventional zone circuit. The zone monitor module is connected with the addressable fire alarm panel and also has a unique address. This means the zone monitor module converts the conventional zone signal into an addressable signal and it also reports the alarm, fault and normal status of the circuit to the fire alarm panel. So friends, if we see, the zone monitor module works like a conventional one zone panel. Friends, you might be thinking that the zone monitor module and monitor module perform the same function. So what is the difference between them? So friends, both work to monitor devices meaning to take input signals. But the difference is that the monitor module monitors devices that provide a potential free common annunciation signal. But the zone monitor module monitors the conventional two wire detector or MCP, supplying power to the detector and receiving the fire signal on the same line. So friends, let's look at the working of the zone monitor module with an example. Friends, the zone monitor module works like a conventional one zone panel. So here look, there's a commercial building. There, an addressable fire alarm system is installed in the common passage and area and conventional detectors are installed in individual offices. Then we use a zone monitor with the addressable fire alarm system to connect a conventional detector from the office and assign an address to the zone monitor module to define the office number in the fire alarm panel. So here we accomplish two tasks. Firstly, we don't have to install a conventional panel in the office. Secondly, we will get the pin location of the office. Now friends, the zone monitor module will work like an A1 zone conventional panel. Meaning, when there is a fault in the conventional detector or cable, such as an open or short circuit fault, the zone monitor module reports it with the address to the addressable fire alarm panel. And when a fire event occurs, the conventional detector sends the fire signal to the zone monitor module, which then sends the fire signal with the address to the addressable fire alarm panel. So here, if a fire is detected in office number 201, the fire alarm panel will show address 15 zone monitor module and office number 201 fire written as such. However, it won't be known which detector in office number 201 triggered the fire because it's a conventional system. So friends, this is how the zone monitor module works. Friends, let's see in which applications the zone monitor module is used. When designing an addressable fire alarm system, if there is an area where a conventional system is already installed and external wiring cannot be done there, then to connect the conventional system with the addressable fire alarm, we use a zone monitor module and in another case where such an application exists. For example, there is a small hall where a conventional detector is installed and the pin location of the detector is not needed and we also want to reduce cost then we use a zone monitor module. Second in hazardous areas IS detectors are installed. Then in most companies conventional IS detectors are used. Then using a zone monitor module with the addressable fire alarm 
we connect it with a channel barrier to install the IS detector. That's when we use the zone monitor module. Now let's see what the function of the zone monitor module is. First, monitoring and supervision. The zone monitor module supplies power to the two wire detector and also monitors it. So there is an end of line resistor in the zone circuit. This end of line resistor performs line supervision. Meaning if there is a wire open or short between the zone monitor module and the device, it monitors it and then the zone monitor module indicates a fault. Second, reporting status to the control panel, meaning the status of the connected detector, whether it's normal, fire alarm, trouble status open or short, that information is also sent to the fire alarm panel with the address. Third, external power supply. Friends, in some companies, the zone monitor module needs to be given a separate power supply. And in some companies, the zone monitor modules are loop powered, meaning no extra power is needed for the zone monitor module. Fourth, number of devices connect. Friends, the zone monitor module can connect a maximum of 15 detectors or MCPs and the number of detectors and MCPs that can be connected is defined by the manufacturer so we can connect detectors or MCPs accordingly. Types of devices Friends, any company smoke detector, heat detector, multi-detector and MCP can be connected to the zone monitor module. When you install the zone monitor module, what things should you pay attention to? Let me share some tips with you. First, always install the end of line resistor in the last device of the zone because it allows us to monitor the zone circuit properly. And if there is a fault, we can monitor that too. Secondly, check that the end of line resistor of the proper value is installed. Second in the zone monitor module, connect as many detectors or MCPs as defined by the manufacturer. Most zone monitor modules can connect a maximum of 15 detectors or MCPs. Third, always install the zone monitor module with or near the devices. A greater distance can cause voltage drop which affects performance. Fourth, install the monitor module in an ABS box or fire rated enclosure only. Fifth. Install the zone monitor module at a location where maintenance and testing can be done easily. Sixth, when there is a hazardous area, an IS detector is installed there. So when connecting the IS detector to the zone monitor, the zone monitor should always be installed in a safe non-hazardous area. Let's understand how the wiring connection of the zone monitor module is done with a conventional device and how it operates. Let's understand with a wiring diagram. Friends, now we will understand the wiring connection between the conventional detector and notifier zone monitor module. Here we have taken the notifier's zone monitor module FSM1. In the zone modules T1 and T2 terminals, the fire alarm loop wire is connected. In the zone monitor modules T7 and T6 terminals, the zone cable of the conventional detector is connected. Connect the positive wire to the T7 terminal and the negative wire to the T6 terminal. The end of line resistor has been installed in the last detector. The value of the end of line resistor is 3.9 ohms. This end of line resistor should always be installed in the last detector, not in the terminal of the zone monitor module. If the cable between the detector and the module becomes open or short, the zone monitor module indicates a fault. In the zone monitor modules T11 and T10 terminals, a battery backup 24 volt DC power supply is connected. Currently in a normal condition, there is a green indication in the zone monitor module. If the zone cable is open or short, the zone monitor module gives an orange indication, which means there is a fault. If there is a fire event, the detector will go into fire condition, 
and the zone monitor module receives a fire signal and a red indication lights up in the zone monitor module. The zone monitor module immediately sends a fire signal to the fire alarm panel which alerts the system and the panel will also display the address of the zone. So friends, we have seen how the wiring connection between the conventional detector and the zone monitor module is made. Friends, when there is a hazardous area, an IS detector is always installed there. Friends, now we will understand the wiring connection between the IS conventional detector and the notifier zone monitor module. Here we have taken the notifier zone monitor module FZM1. The fire alarm loop wire is connected to the T1 and T2 terminals of the zone monitor module. The channel barrier is connected to the T7 and T6 terminals of the zone monitor module. The positive wire will be connected to the T7 terminal and the negative wire to the T6 terminal. The cable of the conventional detector zone is connected to the channel barrier. The conventional detector is installed in hazardous areas while the channel barrier and zone monitor module are always installed in safe areas. Friends, in hazardous areas, devices are always given low voltage. So this generally works by converting from 24 volts DC to low voltage. Friends, the evolt register is installed in the last detector and its value is 3.9 ohms. A 24 volt DC power supply with battery backup is connected to the T11 and T10 terminals of the zone monitor module. In normal conditions, the zone monitor module shows a green indication. If there is any fault, such as an open or short cable, the zone monitor module shows an orange indication. If a fire event occurs, the detector will go into fire condition and the zone monitor module receives the fire signal and shows a red indication. The zone monitor module immediately sends the fire signal to the fire alarm panel which alerts the system and the fire alarm panel will display the address of the zone monitor module indicating which zone has the fire. So friends we have now seen the wiring connection and working of the zone monitor module. If you found this video informative please like and share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more technical videos. If you have any questions ask them in the comment section. See you in the next video. Thank you for now. अगर आपको यह वीडियो जानकारी पूर्वक लगा हो तो लाइक और शेयर जरूर करें और ऐसे ही टेक्निकल वीडियो के लिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें आपका कोई सवाल हो तो कमेंट सेक्शन में पूछें मिलते हैं अगले वीडियो में तब तक के लिए धन्यवाद